I'm not sure here which is out there in the world. David's prayer, David's meditation. You all know who David is. David was a shepherd from a young age. And of course, he was anointed to be a king and he, he didn't become a king instantly or straight away, but he became a king much later on. He waited patiently for that time. But before that, he was a shepherd and you know, you can imagine, you can put yourself, if you are a shepherd, what what is your main duty or what is your main a chore that you do every day, right? To be a shepherd, meaning you are a leader, you are a father, you are a, or whatever. You are um, uh, the shepherd of, of for, to some people, or <clears throat> we used this in the congregation in the church. The pastor is the shepherd, and here David was the shepherd for the flocks. So. Think of David from young age, you know, he was a good shepherd. Indeed, he was a good shepherd. Look after them every day and night. And you can picture even at night time, he looks after the flocks day and night. If you do, if you look after a, a flock or if, if you look after some people, it's a burden that you have day and night that you want to find out how they are. You have something in your heart for those people, you know, for who you look after. Um, and David was like that. He cares so, so much about the flock. When we become a shepherd, we have burden in our heart, in, in our mind, for people that we that we look after, people that we care for. You know, from even Sunday, even young people, Sunday school ages up to the mum and dads. We we it's normal for a shepherd to worry, to think about the flock every day time every minute every second you know it's always in the mind i wonder how how john is i wonder how mary is i wonder how this family is because uh, uh, being a pastor or a, a shepherd in the congreg for the congregation you don't live together with your flock you know you are at home and you're wondering you're curious you're thinking you're concerned i wonder how they are you know, and if, if a storm comes or tsunami, like what happened in Tonga, you worry, you want to hop out, you want to run out and hop in your vehicle and drive around to check how they are, whether everything is okay with them. Here with David, he was there with the flock and he had a, a, a heart for them. You know, he didn't want to go anywhere. You become to fall in love with the work that you do, that especially if you're doing the same work every day, seven days a week, 24 hours, and how many years and years you do the same work. It, it's like that. He, he committed to what he was doing. And he loved what he was doing. He loved these animals, the, the flock that he looked after. And of course, they know David's voice. And even they know the way he walked, the footsteps. <clears throat> Sorry. And, and for us um, followers of, of, of Christ, we should be able to know, to know his voice, even his footsteps, to discern the the time and also when he speaks to us. Who our shepherd is, and we should be able to discern and know his voice when he talks to us. Amen. And David and he, the relationship between David and his, and his flock, you know, it, they were very, very close. They were bonding. 
el fo asco ta o ta fa ta ta fo ke ta hi sipi ke fai fe ka o fai fe a and in the way he looks after his shepherd ko ko fa ga sipi o the congregation they know the voice of the five feet out or the five feet out. They know what he did. Every time he turned, they can read what he, it's in his mind. You know, the facial expression, the body language, the, the, the shepherd, every time the shepherd turn around to walk, the, the congregation knows. Oh, it, even before he talks, the congregation knows whether he's in a good mood, whether he's a happy, shepherd or whether he's Ika or whether he's uh, you know he's got something in his mind or he's stressed or depressed every uh, follower should know but in relationship with the Vita Bemo in the Fangasipi even though you might think well, the flock were not where they were animals of course but David had a good bonding with the flock but the Fangasipi with these animals. Um o o maya e fahinga faka gau gau ko niga gitau dol e fia vini. And you know what I really like about this chapter? The the reason why I really like this chapter is because I know I know what David went through. I know what it's like when you're committed to a job or you look after a congregation for so many years. That becomes a fiber of your body. It becomes you, you know. Um, and sometimes you have to sacrifice your time, your money and everything, even for your family. You'd rather have nothing but give to your flock, give to your um, congregation. And it's like that being a shepherd, it's a, a loving job. It's a, a relationship job. And here, David says, the Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. See, David was the shepherd for these animals or for his flock. Then he, this day, this very particular day, and his meditation was like, the Lord is my shepherd, meaning God. You see here, David, <clears throat> David didn't say this because he didn't just say it, you know, all of a sudden he said, no. David had a relationship with his God and he knew about God. He had something about God and he knows there's a purpose for his life. And the reason why he declared, why he decreed on that particular day, you know, with confident, a definite word from David saying, the Lord is my shepherd. There is no half note there or minor. This is major. In music, half a note, it, I think it's minor or the full note is major. But he, and here David, David said something definite, you know, not unsure of it, but because of his faith in God, it made him say all this. The Lord is my shepherd. See, although I'm a shepherd for these animals, God, you are my shepherd. I lack nothing. Oh, how beautiful is that? The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. Kohokutau hiya sihova. He ikai, he ikai, he ikai te masiba. See, here he made it crystal clear i lack nothing at all nothing i don't know how i'm am i gonna break down this this um the second part of the verse i lack nothing because some people might think this verse is talking about money or material things but to me personally with at the atmosphere where david was he had peace you know, he loved what he was doing. And in the presence of God, he made it sure to God by saying, God, you are my shepherd and I will lack nothing. I am not going to, to have depressed 
depressed, uh, no, and I'm going to have no stress, no unhappy, nothing negative in this world, you know, that will come against me. This is a positive affirmation from David in his relationship with God. I lack nothing. Hey, guy, the massive area of far. Yeah, fuck a mole mole, but hey, guy, I'll be the day stressed, but they're depressed, but they're eka, but they're ha, moe ha. Nothing like that, Lord, because you are my shepherd. Even I won't go starve or hungry or thirsty or. I, and, and my heart will be, I will have peace because you are my shepherd. I trust you. See how beautiful is that? The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. See how much kokoi hoku dau hi. Hei kai, hei kai, au pito, au pito te masiva. Hei kai te masiva he opa. Hei kai te masiva he fia fia. Hey guys, the massive if you for mole mole. I will be fulfilled abundantly in love, um forgiveness, joy, everything. It's got nothing to do with money at all. But of course, we can say that these days, you know, in comparative to what we are going through. But David declared and decreed this very particular day how his faith was was on God. You know, his faith was placed in the in the arms of God, in the heart of God. Second verse, he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. Wow. How beautiful is that? O kuke fakato koto au e o tua i he ngahi ngowe o kulamba ui ui. Green pastures, oh man. O kuke ta takiau ke ngahi bai o ku tafe tafe malie. Talking about here, Lord, you makes me lie down in green pastures. This means that God doesn't put David on the green grass. It 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 tells me here that David was affirming or confirming lord you are giving me everything that i have and i am richly and abundantly in everything that you given me you know a green pastures mean abundantly o kuke hanga fa to koto wa e o tua i he ngowe o pulama o ui it's not a dead um green a, a dead pastures or a dead uh, grass. See, confirm hene te vita ki hono otua. E otua, e hoku otua, o kuke fakato kotoa. Meaning, make me lie down, meaning peace. Meaning, no worries. You know, nothing at all in this whole universe, Lord, will, will come in between you and me my faith is in you and i am happy i am i'm comfort everything i'm content everything that i should have in this universe i i greatly have it eu go fie malia de vida ni hanga faka papa i e go odua o go ikai de to koto i ham musie o mate pe ko musie o mo mo pe ko fe tu o ku mama ya ho tu a he to koto i fo meaning he doesn't lie down it doesn't mean it doesn't talk about him lying down meaning david's presence is is uh, incorporating with god's presence Amen. He leads me. You God, you lead me beside quiet waters. You, you may think, or I may think, you can you have seen what a storm is like or a rough sea, you know, the water is roughly uh, with the with strong waves, but here. David is talk about still and peace, you know, which is beautiful. 
Vai com Nico, vai com o café, café malie. Peace, o que flow e e vai ringa nonga de amor fia malie lá. Tá com o mo? David felt it that he is in the presence of God. O que na yai and he is there still and he had peace. Verse three. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for his name's sake. Vesto lu okune faka mo ui kokula mali e okune datakia u henga hihala oku ma oni oni koi uhi kohono huafa. See, David says here, My God, you refreshes my soul. My God, you are touching me all the time. You are, um, you know, your Holy Spirit is whispering me all the time. Is with me all the time. Is not gonna leave me alone. Is with me, in incorporating with me, invigorating my power, my strength. And and you're not, you're guiding me to the right path, for His name's sake. Meaning, God is directing David all the time meaning I am with you and I'm on the right path meaning I am safe in you Lord my God I am with you and I'm safe with you and your your name will be will be your reputation will be praised in many generations to come because I declare and decree today that I am with you. I found you, Lord. I have faith in you and I am with you. You are the right the right one for me and I'm with the right person. Audience, viewers, let's, let's examine our life tonight. Who is your shepherd? And what is your shepherd doing to you these days? For how many years now that you have chosen a shepherd for your life in this universe. Does he let you down or she let you down? Do you feel equal with him or her some of the time? Or does he do something that you feel you are not secure and safe in, in him? And sometimes you question the work that he's doing or saying, oh gosh, where is he leading me? He's not the right shepherd for me. You know, then you then you leave the shepherd and go find another shepherd. But here, David's prayer and meditation was from the core of his heart, from the inner chamber of his heart. You know, not only he was a musician, playing his music and his instrument, but here his prayer, his meditation was all, all positive, all about God. That means his faith, whoa, he had a strong faith in his God. Amen. How I did with the hen of a head in my head, Vahe Gweni, Kia de Goy, Pia Moao, Kao Mui Mui, Kao followers of Christ, Opehem Mai. Hey, let's come together in Hoko, O Aya, Aai, Odua, God, our shepherd, dear. He is the real shepherd for us. You know, the Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. Because I have you, God. Nothing is impossible for you, Jehovah God. Amen. Esihoma sabaoti koko e hoktauhi he ikai te ufi e mau e hamia o kuke faka to koto a o he ngai to a faku lau ma ui ui pe ko e ngai ngoi lau ma ui ui richly green grass not a uh, a dead desert or a bare desert you know o ku faka mahino he ne David o kuke faka mo ui hok lau mali you refreshes my soul. Oh God, you that means you are in me all the time. You know, oku keta takia ukengai hala ok ma oni oni. My journey, my God, my journey is in your hand. 
and you are leading me to the right path. Even when I turn to the left, you are leading me there. I turn to the right, you are with me. Wherever I turn, my God, I know you are with me in me. Verse 4. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Even though you walk, I walk through the darkest valley. What are we going through these days? What are you going through these days? What's your darkest valley? What's the, the darkest valley that you're going through these days? What's holding you back? What's holding you or squeezing you tightly to the corner that you can't even come out and enjoy the liberty, enjoy the freedom of our Lord Jesus Christ. Please check it out because I know with the changes in the whole universe these days, with the pandemic and all the economic um, uh, problem these days with all the countries, all the wars declared from one nation to another nation, it's it's got um, a hugely toll on us Christians. So, koe ha me aku malu malu aki mai mate iho fononga. Are you stressing out with something in your family? What about your marriage? What about the church that you go to? What about your relationship with your kids? What about your relationship with your your even your mum, your dad, your in-laws, your mum in law, your dad in law, your brothers in law? There is a darkest valley that you are going through every day, and I go through every day. We walk through, we, we face many challenges every single day. What about the school? Young people, there are so many darkest, dark valley at school that you go through every day. There are some of your friends, they, they, they turn around and betray you or against you or maybe envy, jealous or what or how you put it. And, and even us people who protest or de, you know we say oh um or not protest profess that we are followers of christ there are so many things that we walk through in this journey of life it's like we are walking in the dark tunnel see even though i walk that means David faced many challenges. But here David made it crystal clear to his God by saying, I fear no evil. And I like this verse here. And I want to bring it to us tonight. Let's say tonight, God, never mind what I face in life every day. I fear no evil. I don't fear about the pandemic. I don't fear about the economic um, uh, fall or whatever, um, financial uh, security or whatever that I'm going through. These days, I fear no evil. I don't even care. It's not in my control. So why should I worry? No. No. Koeku Dokana is my relationship with you every day. Hekabao, if I don't fix my eyes on you, Lord, knowing that you are with me all the time, yes, it's possible for me to walk in this dark valley, dark or darkest valley. 
bow or go mad. If I'm distant from you, Lord, yes, it's possible. I will go through this dark valley and I will face many challenges every day and I won't be able to cope. But because I know you have, you are with me all the time, your presence is with me, incorporated with me every single day, every single year, every single night and day, minutes, seconds, I fear no evil at all. If, if my enemy is planning something against me, hey God, I want to say to you, I fear no evil. Fear not. I fear not. Amen. There are many challenges. That people are not aware of that we go through every day. We have personal problems at home that no one knows about it. Even our even your husband, your wife, your kids, even the the people or the person who's very very close to you there are some hidden secret in you that becomes your dark valley that you haven't actually talked about let's declare tonight by saying god the dark valley that it's in me that i'm going through every day it stresses me out it doesn't um, i don't enjoy my meal I can't sleep properly, I toss and turn, I'm worrying about it, and it takes a huge toll on me, and I'm not having the joy of you these days, because I know that it you know, it takes the best of me. Never mind everything that's happening in this universe, Lord. I'm awaiting for your second coming, I'm awaiting for you to, to come so you can take me home to be with you. Koho o vaakau mo toko toko o kune fakafie malie ya. Your rod and your staff they comfort me. Must you get rod and staff here? It doesn't talk about a physical rod and staff that God have on on you know have with David. Yes, David have a rod and a staff. He uses it for for his animals, for the flock. But David mainly pointed out here that your unfailing love, Lord, that's your rod. And your staff is your presence in me that's what comfort me. Oh, hallelujah. E odua ko ho ba akau mo ho toko toko ko wia o kuni hanga fagafie malie i ho kulau malie the inner chamber of my heart. O kulea te vita henge fia fini mo ne hanga faka babau i ne ongo kato a ume ago ni. The reason why I fear no evil, the reason why I don't fear my enemy, it's because I know your unfailing love, your compassion, and also your Holy Spirit. The power of your Holy Spirit is in me and comforting me, protecting me, guarding me. And because of that, my God, I have no worries, no fear, no depression, nothing at all. Comfort me. Hallelujah. Audience, viewers, <laughs> how, how exciting is it to, to talk about this beautiful chapter. You know, David's prayers and meditation should really penetrate our heart tonight. The inner chamber of our heart, our whole being tonight. Because David was not talking from, you know, just a lip style or lip conversation. David was talking to his God from the, the inner chamber of his heart, of his being his inner being. 
What about you and me tonight? What are we saying to our shepherd these days? Are we busy? Are we focusing with things on social media? Are we focusing with things about in the news about about the nation against nation, or or even these negative things that people are gossiping about, people are busy yapping about, talking about, commenting you know, on Facebook, and all these things that distance us or take our focus, our attention from God. Because the reason why we are unable to declare and decree like David, it's because our attention is not on God. You know, you know what happened? It's shocking. If our attention is not God, it means our being is distant from God. And what's happening when we are distant from God? John 15, Abide in me and I in you. You know, if we don't abide, if we don't dwell, or if we don't incorporate with um, the Holy Spirit, we, that thou distant, that thou distant today, like distant this far, this far, 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 and the next minute, you, you come to your realize, oh, God, where are you? And God said, hey, Fita, I've been here. I've been here waiting patiently for you, but you chose to go distant from me. You chose to go far from me because you didn't uh, fix your eyes on me. I, I'm in you, upon you, and I wanted to stay with you and I no gonna follow Messi. I will never leave you or forsake you. I'm in you all the time. I've never departed, and I have no intention of forsaking you, of leaving you. Oko no for ma uyate go efita. Ie tahi mi go dope. Pe go fuga amu kike no for ma upehe ya deo. Abide in me, and I in you. Go ho distant me a deo efita. Hey, guy, take a lava go fire me your own power. You still need me, Fita. So, oko hanga faga faga taha imaya yongi for ibes ibes ko ito hasyon na tahan ima pa mo ibes ko ni ke faga mahino ka kita udol ko me ay ay hoko ihe tayo mo utang mama oai o tayo mo utang distant yai pa me ihe otuwa. O kuto tano ka tayo hanga. Of Olea Akige Otua, Petau, Faka Papa, Ike Otua, confirm and made it clear, declare Akotau Mutu, Kelea for Papa Potau Mutu, E Otua Kokoibe. No one else but you, Lord. Sequelea Pehena Fa Devita, positive, positive and mindset at Devita, it's all because of his faith. His faith, I get way better. Guy, all faith today, no faith tomorrow. Oh, yeah, sure today, unsure tomorrow. Positive today, negative tomorrow. You know, of him, God wants us to be stable, hold our foundation in our relationship with Him. Because look, a relationship in our relationship with God, God wants us to stay focused in Him all the time and build a stable relationship, stable foundation with him. So tonight, audience, viewers, to make a decision tonight. Verse five, you prepare, God, you prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil my cup overflows, overflows. Wow, beautiful. You prepare a table before me. O kuke teu teu ai keina nga anga, ma aku ie ao o hoku nga ahi fili. O kuke pani hoku ulu, aki ai lolo, pe aku fono ma hua hua e kuipu. You see this glass? Fill up to the brim and overflow. 
You prepare a table for me. Are we talking about a table like this? Prepare a table? Well, when David says prepare a table, in the Tongan Bible it says anga, meaning the table with it's full of food, full of everything. Here, David is talking here about his blessings overflow. His blessings, oh God, my God, I know you prepare a table before me in front of my enemies. So that means David had enemies, but David made it clear in his positive mindset and in his being, God, I trust you. My faith is in you. My blessings, you are preparing my blessings and it's uncountable. I won't be able with my physical eye or even the, the eyes of my mind to conquer, to see the blessings that you prepare for me and my enemies will witness it. How beautiful is it? Meaning, my future, my present, my future, uncountable. Amen. When my enemies will witness my blessings, Lord, they know how great the God that I'm serving. When your and hey viewers, audience, when your enemies see the blessings of God in you overflowing on a daily basis then they know that the god we are serving is a great god you know sometimes we say god is good all the time you no know? this, this is what we say god is great every day and every day god is great you know it's the same thing that david declared and decreed god when my enemies see my blessings overflow in the present and in my future, they know that you are a great God, that I'm serving a great God, that I have my faith, I place my faith in a great God. How beautiful David went out in his prayer, in his meditation, he sat back, relaxed, and, and then he said, all oh, these was, all these, you now this chapter, all these words uh, came from, it was overflowing from his inner being. And even my cup with overflow and you anoint my head with oil. Are we talking about oil, physical oil here? Or was David imagining or visualizing good leader, a good example? Yeah, you may say, oh, but David did something bad. No, I'm not talking about that. Of course, he went through that. He did that. But David here said, you anoint, you anoint me with, the, with your oil and my cup overflows. See, do we ever, muna muna to, to our God, do we ever sit back in our lounge or in the car and have a few moments, even 10 minutes, why sit still, close your eyes and say, Lord, you are my shepherd. All oh, this and that, pour out, pour out your heart to the, to the Lord. What is your, you know, this is a Psalm of David. What is your Psalm? And what is my Psalm? 
for our God? Do you have a psalm every day that you sit at home or sit in the car or at work or sit at the table and say, Lord, here is my psalm for you today. Here is my love letter for you today. I want to talk to you about how I feel about our friendship, about your unfailing love for me. You know, you know that ngai valleys, ngai dark valley, the desert that we're walking, the mountain that we're climbing on every day. What do we say to God? Do we have something good to say to our God every day, like David? Or we just come to God when we need Him? We want to take advantage of Him or use Him. Then after that, when we receive what we need or receive what what we ask for in prayer, then we turn around, go. On a daily basis, you and I should have a psalm for our God. You know, think about it, imagine it, visualize how beautiful you are, God. I got, there's not enough word for me to express how grateful I am to have you as my God. No one else like you, God. See, every day we should vent out, we should have a psalm to our God, offer our thanksgiving. You know what happens if we don't have a psalm for our God, if we don't have a, a love letter for our God, if we don't have something good to say to our God, our mind will, will be filled with negative, dirty things of this universe. And it will vent out in our mouth, our daily conversation will be offensive, will be nasty, will be harsh and we will wound other uh, other people's heart. We will say negative things to, uh, to your husband, to your wife, to your kids, to your mother-in-law, to your pastor. Because that's what happened when we don't have a psalm for our God. When, do, when we don't have something good for our God, everything that we went out, we lavish out will be negative. So I hope that won't happen to us. See, it happened. David was anointed to be the future king. You know, see, the, the more blessings go overflow in Abu, go in, anoint him. Go overflow when in Abu, see, it was full up to the brim and then overflow. And you all know him. If he had journey at David, he lived long enough to see his blessings. It was overflowing, and I anointed to be a great leader. And I, there were so many beautiful things in Mooya David. It's written or recorded in the Psalms. So, for us, audience, viewers, Oko faka amu he fiafini ke hoko e ku moui oko hataha u hangeto peko devita ke usai ia he to peke o dua he daimikato and everything every time I will open my mouth to talk to someone to my neighbor my in law my um, own even my own kids even people in the church everything I say will be. Anoint, will be a help to heal will be medicine for someone you have broken heart say something build up you know when we do all that positive everything we ask we pray and ask God he will give it and manifest the goodness of our God. If we declare negative things, Heikai can manifest my heart positive if we declare negative. If you declare negative, Kohoto negative, you will harvest negative. If you put in a positive and manifest my heart positive, 
make sure you have a love story you have something to talk to god about don't talk to god once a month don't talk to god once a year once a day kote vita david was ha talk 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 ke odwa the reason why he was very um commun- you know he was communicating with god in a healthy relationship it's because what his mind was filled with positive things about god when when our mind is filled with something positive about god it will come manifest my head the words ki to a lots of things that we talk about good things that we talk to god about If we don't have something positive in our mind and even when we come to church in praise and worship time you will hardly ever open your mouth to praise God hardly ever open your mouth at church or at home to worship God because you can't come up with something good you say you might say oh I can't speak I can't I can't talk at church because I've got nothing to say I don't know how to talk you know I say to people who say that to me If you don't know how to talk, check it out because you have a voice and you have a mind. And you should be able to talk because you are talking to me right now. I know you can talk to God. But that is what happened when we're distant from God, our mind will be filled with dirty negative things of this earth here. Last week I was talking to us last week about how we need to to set our mind on the things above not on the things on this earth set our mind on the things above david was like that he set his mind on the things above begone pehe then david had lots of beautiful words to say to his god you and i should be like that You and I should be well prepared to lavish out to God. Oh God, I can't say enough to you. You know from the moment we put our head down on the pillow, our mind is still filled with words, beautiful words. Lord, I'm going to sleep. Uh, can you look after me? I know you love me. I I'm going to have a rest. I can't wait to wake up and talk to you. I love you. Lord, I'm going to have a rest now. Please guard me. you know then you fall asleep as soon as you feel that you're getting up you move in the morning you can still move you can still breathe oh you rise up oh hello good morning jesus good morning god i'm here i'm up again i'm rise oh i thank you for this breath of life lord thank you how are you god i'm still here i love you you know this is what happened when we learn to have Uh, um, a, a fellowship a healthy relationship and also our faith never ever forget that our faith makes us stronger in our relationship with god our faith motivates us to talk to the god that we know the god that we love the god that we serve last verse verse 6 surely for sure god your goodness and love will follow me follow me all the days of my life wow and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever koi mo oni e mui mui ya te au I lay my alo ofa e he a ho ko do a pe o eko mo wi that they will not for e he fale o si ho ba o la wi ko amen ah sai le a le ba te vita fa os last verse hey my god for sure i'm sure sure positive Your goodness go lele and your love will follow me follow me everywhere I go for the rest of my life all the days not today 
and nothing tomorrow, but every day, every night, every second, every minute, every hour, every year and year and year forever. There's no end there. You see, you see how David pointed out Jehovah, hey, God, for sure, I know it. I know it, God. I know your goodness and your love will follow me everywhere I go for the rest of my life. Yes, it did happen. You know what he said on that day? It happened. The goodness and love of God followed David for the rest of his life. And then lastly, David said, I will dwell in your house, O oh God, forever. Then David said, hey God, I will dwell in your house forever. <laughs> How beautiful is that? David said, your goodness and your love will follow me. And I will dwell in your house for the rest of my life. Meaning forever, there is no because nothing will separate me from you, O oh God. They will be picky, I will abide in you, I will remain in you, that they no for or lot that I will like to. No, stick around with you all the time. How beautiful is that? Viewers, for us tonight. Who, who, who do you follow around or who follow you around? Does that person's goodness and love worth following around or is your love and your goodness worth enough for somebody else to follow you around? Or you like to go to their house and hang around there, have coffee, yarn, laugh, giggle, whatever you're doing? Is that good enough com in comparative to God's goodness and mercy, goodness and love that David said or declared that very particular day? I don't think so. You know, and I only met a lot of those. What we are doing these days, Kapau be ugai ke hoko asihova sa baoti koho shepherd, mohoko shepherd, go any bego dalatu, that the mui mui we will follow a wrong person. Go any bego dalatu, that the ma mavahe, that the mama of the mehe kotua, that the go through the way and a hitak, belly or ma mani gweni, that the da fear. So that David, David fear not. He didn't fear or didn't meaning, he didn't have any negative energy at all, or negative mind or negative thought or whatever. But for us, we will fear. We will fear the pandemic. We will fear the vaccine. We, there'll be lots of fear. We will fear that our friends will gossip us. We will fear that our pastor will let us down. We will fear that we won't have mere eye tomorrow. We will fear that our, maybe our mother-in-law will, won't love us. We will fear that the husband will leave us. We will fear or feel insecure all the time. That's what happened when we don't come to, to God so he can be the, the good shepherd for us. Choose God as your shepherd. Choose God as your shepherd and my shepherd. All the blessings, that, um, the goodness, the love, everything he will bless you abundantly, more than you know, more than we live to see how goodness he is to us. Let me ask this. Let me ask this question to all of us. How many years now you've been serving the Lord? And how many years now, Fita, that you've been serving the Lord. Ko fehu ileva he fi afini. Ta ue ne fiha po mui mui he eki ko si so galaisi. Ko ta una ye ne fiha 
people behave, hey, I'm a Christian. How many years do you testify? I'm a Christian. God is good all the time. How many years now? Do you ever or have you proved to yourself that you say, oh, David is like me. Would you be able to say, man, Psalm 23 is exactly is my Psalm. That's what I've been telling my God these years. Hey, kai te masiva wea i ha fo i fa ka gau gau, but te masiva i ha fa hinga me ata. Me a fa lau mali spiritual, me a fa physical, fa materi. Ko inga ko ha, I have peace in my mind. O ko no forget te ko. Pe o ko mi ha tafe tafe overflow with peace i hokuloto to my neighbor. My peace is overflowed to my family, to my church, and people in the in the community at large. Hekapau, if God is not our shepherd, we are not healthy Christians. We are Christians who gossip. We are Christians who complain. We are, are Christians who who judge other people. Christians who are full of hatred, ika, depressed, stress. All these diseases will be loaded in us. Koi me ai hoko koi kaki tau tolu koi kau karistiane maha mahaki pangalau maari e ki tau to. Ko ihinga ha ko time ko tope te tau siu ka taha we will charge. Time ko tope te siu au ka taha kusai ang e on e ka we are envy jealous. You know, ko me ai hoko ke i kai ke hoko e ki ko siu ka isi ko hoi shepherd koi tau hi sipi mo oni ki a ki tau to. Hey, he is a real shepherd. We the, the reason why you don't think he is a real shepherd is because you're distant from him. Let us declare and decree tonight if I'm saying here, if you say to me tonight, if you say to yourself, wherever you are, if you're watching from your kitchen, from your lounge, or even the studio, and you say to me, oh, Fita, yes. 25 years now, I have I have let God be my shepherd and he looked after me. And I talk to him every single hour, single minute. And I sit and have a quiet time with him and I meditate and I read the word and I love reading the word. I love reading his words and, you know, it penetrates my heart and I'm hunger and thirst for his righteousness, for his holiness, everything. You will feel it. You will feel it. You will feel it. You will feel it. And if you didn't choose God to be your shepherd in the last 25 years, but you attend church, you're one of the leaders at church, you have a family, or you are, you are the father in the family, or you, if you are the mother, I hope you're not the leader of the family. Let the Father be the leader. And, and you know, all this and that, it will all crumble and, and everything will, the foundation will be crumbled because you didn't choose God to be your shepherd. Now, our earthly shepherd. Here on earth, we have a shepherd. We have... Um, Faifiga is our shepherd. The father in, uh, of the family is the shepherd for his family. And, you know, Daimigo, how I go down a shepherd for a mama. What do you say to your shepherd in this world? Your earthly, your earthly shepherd. Do you go against him? Or you touch him or her? What about at home? Husbands, go now do the shepherd ke family. Kag fa punaga ki ha ke foka wife ya o tu uye olunga he o behema e wife ya. Hey husband, I'm the shepherd. I want to be the shepherd. That's that's big the beginning of the crumbles. E holafa holafa of to. O kufie ma to know 
and you need to get Eloi, who is your shepherd. We will jump from one lane to the other, and you jump from one lane to this lane, and we'll, we crash. So then when you know your shepherd, they can not obey you will sit and remain where you are and let the shepherd take care of you. Heko shepherd have the divine power to take care of you and me. Before I finish off our, our, our program tonight, go fear. I want to encourage us all and reassure to us tonight that God is a great God. His goodness and His mercy will follow you around for the rest of your life. It's the same as me. So, whatever things that we are going through in life, in our journey these days, maybe last year you went through something really bad and you're glad you made it to this year, new year, and now it's nearly the end of the month. What do you feel now? You feel that you're coming closer and closer to, to God? Or you still, you were here in 2021 and you're still here in 2022. There's no, you're making no effort to, uh, to come forward. Let me encourage you tonight. Make sure you have a psalm for our God, for your God, the God that you are serving, the God that you attend church every Sunday to worship. Make sure you have a love letter or love story to tell your God and say how grateful I am to have you. You know, you are my first love and I love you more and more every day. Make sure you have that because this world, this universe, there are many, many changes happening these days. And God allows those changes to happen so he can tell which one here is my real flock and which are which among these people are my real flock which one that really follows me which one that count me in as his or her shepherd my uni me go hoko ihe you universe he ngai a hoko ni o ku mahu inga ke tau fai ha fili ke a hon a decision has to made to be made tonight Renew your covenant with God. Fita, renew your covenant with God. If you feel your, your distance, if you feel that you're lacking of words to say in praising God, in worshiping God, in thanksgiving, please go back to the word and go back and renew the covenant with God. If you want those blessings that David had, please renew your covenant with God tonight. We are so lucky that we still have chance and opportunities to make it right with our God. Tomorrow may not be yours, may not be mine. Tomorrow is not guaranteed that we have every tomorrow, that every tomorrow in 2022 will be ours. We don't even know our tomorrow. So make a decision tonight to say, God, I want you to be my shepherd. I chose you to be my shepherd five years ago, but I step out from the circle. I step out from you. And now I'm going through many darkest valley and I can't cope, I can't handle it. I do admit that I can't handle any more of this, of this that I'm going through. I have, I've had enough of this world. So there's no one like you. I'm offering my words to you tonight, God, be my shepherd. So you can bless me abundantly and you can follow me with your love to the end of my life. Viewers, it's not worth 
leaving God. It's not worth playing around with our faith. It's not worth playing game with our God. A decision has to be made tonight. It's yours and it's mine. Before I sign off, let me read um, the scripture tonight before I ask the technician to play our final song. Same wadolu, kadao. Follow, follow, ya ke awani. De lau faka ausia duya, then I say our last prayer. Koho kadao hiya si hova e ikai teu masiva. O kunne faka to koto au e nga hingowe lau ma ui ui. O kunne tataki au ki hebe e vai o tafe tafe maalie. O kunne faka mo ui hoku lau maalie. O kunne tataki au au e nga hihala o ma oni oni. Peko hala ma oni oni ko e uhi peko hono huafa. Io neongo e ku ebe eva i he dele a o ku malu malu ma i ake ai mate. E i kai te umana wa he ki ha kobi he o kuke i a te au ko ho o ba akau no toko toko o ku na whakawhie maarie i a. O kuke te uteu ai kei nanga anga ma aku i he au a ho ku ngahi fili o ku ke pani ho ku ulu a ki ai lolo te a ku whonu ma hua hua a e ku ipu. Koe mo oni e mui mui a te au a e lelei moe alo ofa i he aho ko doa be o e ku mo ui da te u nofo i he fale si ho ma o lau i ko oma. Psalm 23, let me read it before I say our final prayer and the technician will play our final song. 23rd Psalm The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul and he guides me along the right path for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff will comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies and you anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely, the goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Oh, how beautiful is that. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this very hour again. As we come to you again, Lord, to praise you, to worship you, to thank you for all that you have done for us. Lord, we want to renew our covenant with you tonight. Be our shepherd. We know that there's not, nobody else in this world like you. Te ke tāpua ki ki mau tolu, te ke tātaki ki mau tolu, te ke toka ngā i ki mau tolu. Be e i kai ha me a da ha te mau masivai, he te ke provide your provision is a vast supply, ki a ki mau tolu o tua. Te ke hanga o tātaki ki mau tolu he ngai te lea, me ngai feidu o malo malo mai a ke ai mate. He i kai te mau mana wa hei ke a me a da ha, i he lalo laa kone o mau iai, he mau ilo o kuke ia te ki mau tolu i he taimi ko tāpe. Father, I pray for all the viewers tonight. Um, I, I pray that you reach out and touch everybody, Lord, everyone's heart tonight uh, to renew their covenant and their faith in you, Lord. Uh, that what you have done for, for us in the past, you will do it for us again in, in our present life and also our future. Lord, I ask this um, very hour, a technician tonight, Lord, Whoever's in the studio uh, taking part in our, our program tonight, I ask that you bless him, Lord, tonight. And also Elohim Broadcasting Network, may you continue to bless them abundantly, Lord. We are get available, I bear a platform we need to share your love and your goodness for your people. Father, forgive us tonight, Lord, I pray. So many mistakes and so many things 
dark valley that we chose to go um, through in the last hour, last days, last months and years, Lord. But we come together this very hour to say, please forgive us, Father. Komole mole igi mau dole egi tatak ya dua lead us Lord ke mau hau ke mau have peace in you. You have time to do a bit knowing in our heart that your Holy Spirit is within us, Lord. From the tatak ki mau dolo ki have buy or ki tafe tafe malie. Lord, ta pa ki ko to bless us all tonight. Uwa ko he mau mawa he if you finish ka uwa ko mau to fagata hamai another day next week. Well, Lord, you have a more hope, my Father. If you have a better Amen and amen and amen. Thank you all. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in, and also thank you, technician, for the wonderful time, and also for the viewers for joining me tonight. Let's ask the technician to play our final song, and we'll see you all next week, hopefully. Hopefully, Brother Toka or Pastor Toka from Tonga will join us next week. Amen. May God bless you all. Bye bye for now. Oh